Palmyra, it's, it's important for many reasons. I think from a climatic standpoint, one of the most important reasons is that this island actually hasn't had much human influence. You go to almost every other island in the Pacific and there's people that have been living there. Some of those people make their living from the sea and in some many cases they've been making their living from the sea for hundreds if not thousands of years. There are lots of large fish here that, that you don't find in many other coral atoll settings because they've all been removed as, as uh, food, been removed by the local fisheries. The moment we try to catch a black tip. So we're chumming to attract some. We've seen a couple, but they stay down a little bit deeper. So we're trying to get them up to the surface. We'd like to get a shark at least a meter long. You got it, got it. Nice work, Johnny. Nice. Watch it, Johnny. Johnny, bring him to the other side. Bring him over to this side, Johnny. A large number of shark species are, are apex predators, so they're at the top of the food chain. So I'm only working with the black tip reef shark, obviously one of the major apex predators here. I'm making a small incision on the abdomen. Transmitter number 3111G, 51 kilohertz. Okay, transmitter's in. Sutures. Well, the transmitter we put inside the shark emits an ultrasonic, very high frequency sound. So it sends basically like a ping sound approximately once a second. So it provides very high resolution data because we know exactly where that shark is. So you get data, good data over a short time period. Gen, 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 gen. First five minutes of the dive is always the most excited because that's when the sharks come up to you, that's when they're mostly whistling when you roll over the side. But I always love seeing sharks underwater, so that's for me is my the favourite part of the early dive. There's a lot we don't know, especially with regards to feeding ecology. Due to overfishing, shark populations are generally declining worldwide. So what would happen to those ecosystems if all the sharks were taken out? Some of the questions you need to answer in order to be able to look at that is obviously what do the sharks eat, what's their diet, but then also how much are they eating, how much are they consuming. So if you were to pull the sharks out of the ocean in a particular area, what happens to their prey, what happens to their prey's prey, and then so forth as you go down the food chain. So from an ecological standpoint, they, they could be particularly important.